Hi, I'm Chris. We're going to be talking about kayaking and paddling 101. When I think about those techniques, the things that come to mind for me are keeping a good upright body position, have a nice structured torso in my seating position, but I want to have relaxed legs and I want to have my hips nice and relaxed. That good posture is going to make for better paddle efficiency. It's going to reduce lower back pain. It's going to make you have more fun throughout your day of paddling. I want to demonstrate where to place my hands and how to position the paddle. I place that on top of my head and I'll form right angles with my arms relative to the paddle shaft. That'll give me good shoulder width spacing on the paddle. I want to use a nice relaxed grip. Remember to form a circle with your fingers and have your knuckles oriented to the top of the blade on the paddle shaft. Demonstrating forward stroke, there's three things that we want to know about. Catch, propulsion, and recovery. Catch is the blade entering the water. Propulsion is when you're using your upper torso to pull through the stroke to propel yourself forward. And the recovery is when the blade comes out of the water, gets back in position to enter the water for that catch. So it's the repeat of that cycle, catch, propulsion, and recovery. In order to turn the boat, you're gonna use the sweep stroke. You're gonna enter the blade towards your feet and sweep a nice wide arc towards the back or the stern of the boat. You're gonna finish the stroke by lifting the paddle out of the water as it approaches the stern of the boat. In order to stop the kayak, you're gonna find the reverse forward stroke helpful. You'll accomplish this by placing the blade in the water to slow your progress in the kayak. You'll use your torso and core to resist that pressure of the water to slow down the kayak as you proceed to push that blade forward to stop your progress. I hope you find these kayaking tips helpful in making your experience be the best it can be.